Okay, so all we've done from the last video is we've taken the, the base with a stone out and the art has draped a bit of net over the top of it so that when the net's pulled sort of tight or tight-ish from side to side um, it's fairly snug over the arches. The ends, there's plenty of spare on the ends there. Um, we can tighten that up as and when we get to that point. As long as it's fairly snug when you put it from side to side. Then what we've got is we've just taken a bit of that 6mm polypropylene again and we've just threaded through the bar and mesh in and out, in and out, in and out, down one side. We've left the end free. Um, again, so it makes it easier to tighten at the end. And we've done the same down the other side. Just in and out, in and out, in and out. It looks a bit short at the minute. As we pull it down, stretch it down, it will become tight. Okay, so we've got Nigel back in again, doing all the hard work. What we're using here now is small galvanized staples just to staple that um, six mil rope down into the boards. We're trying not to pinch the mesh at this stage. So that the net can be jiggled about if needed. So that's one side done. Now you can see that pulling it tight gets the net fairly snug now over the top of the arches. So really it's a blue rope that's keeping the whole mesh down at this stage. So just to speed things up, all we did was we've just added a few more staples here along the bottom just to secure it a wee bit more. And what we've done now, it's been tied down with a blue rope, is we've been able to pull the ends together and trim the net now so that when the two ends are pulled together, they just about meet when they cross over at the end there, so it makes it easier to tie in. Um, I just tied a bit of green cord on there, which he's going to use to sew that end together. Which is the next stage we'll do now. So we're just crisscrossing from one mesh to the other, one side to the other, and I just tie it each time there just with a, a sheet bend through each mesh. If you don't know how to tie a sheet bend, then a half hitch will do just as nicely. Try and tie it each time so that if the cord gets snapped then it doesn't all unwind and leaves the pot completely open. start to get up the mesh starts to get harder to pull together so we don't tie it all the way up now just feeding the end of the cord in and out of the meshes. So 
So all the untied meshes now have the cord threaded through it. And when it, once it gets to the last one, last untied one, it just pulls down on the end and that just pulls it all in nice and tight. And ties are not then to secure it all. That's it tied in. So that's the end all sewn together now. Uh, the two ends done. All we'll do to finish that off is just put a couple of staples around the, the bottom of the blue rug there just to pin that down uh, to secure it.